Just for Mr. Kamenet's office and our delegates. I'm an independent filmmaker and a whistleblower. My thing, you see me down in Annapolis the whole session. My thing was about the prison industry and the pay-to-play politics involved in the prison industry. Um, my question is, as a, a whistleblower, what are the protections that the state provides to whistleblowers? I was illegally incarcerated. My truck was taken. My computer was taken. Eight years' worth of film footage was taken. I was labeled a terrorist. I won my case. I was found innocent of all charges, but the state refuses to return my property and compensate me for my losses. So what, as a citizen, your job and your responsibility to protect me and my constitutional rights in which we elected? And as far as Kamenet's office, who hires the police chief in Baltimore County? Because the police chief is the one that stole the property, took the property, and refuses to return the property. I got a court order from Judge Turnbull telling them to return it. I've been homeless and without income for the last eight years. I'm out $2.6 million because of this. So I'm asking you as representatives of the city, of the county, I'm a county, rep uh, county resident, I contribute to the community, what are you going to do to protect me from my government? Yeah, but see, the civil assets forfeiture thing, I wasn't selling drugs. My property was my property. Right. I, I, it was a business property. I'm a business owner. I got sole proprietorship. The state of Maryland did this, not DEA. So it, it, the bill passed? Yes. So how can I get my money and my property back? Well, that, you know, because I'm an indigent and I don't have the money to approach the court and as an indigent under Wayne Wright, you can't refuse me access to the court because of my financial position. And, and I, I recall uh, speaking with the, the state's attorney about, about your And Schellenberger will not talk to me. He would not let me in the office because he's the one that did it. All right, I got you. This happened December, February twenty, February the seventh, two thousand eleven. It was during Black History Month. Right, and, and it was it was.